Okay, so going forward, as we get more and more in depth in sampling, we start to do more complex things. There's gonna be some areas that we really need to understand. Now, the first thing we're gonna look at here is called ADSR. This stands for Attack, Decay, Sustain, Release. And we'll see this in a lot of different samplers. As we just go ahead using the default basic sampler, it's there as an envelope. And an ADSR and an envelope allows us to shape the sound in things like volume and filters over time. So first is attack. Attack is the time it takes for the sound to get to its loudest peak if we were using amplitude. If that was attached to a filter, it would be the most open point of that filter. So if we think of attack, it's that first initial sound as it comes in. Think of a string instrument that has quite a long attack in most cases. The string gradually rises up in level until it hits its maximum amplitude. On the flip side of that, if we pluck that string, its attack is very, very quick. It hits its loudest amplitude almost instantaneously. After that, we have decay. And decay is the time that it will decay in volume over until it gets to its sustain point, which is going to be a point of held amplitude. So we have our attack, it goes nice and up to its full amount of amplitude. We have a decay and it's gonna come down and then we have a sustain point. Now the reason we use a sustain is if a long note is held, this will be its level that it's held at. When we look at sampling, a sustain point will usually be quite a good loop point and a loop level for something to repeat over and over. Lastly, we have R. R is our release. And again, it's the length of time that it takes the sound from its sustain point to get back to zero. So ADSR, attack, decay, sustain, release. It's the overall amplitude and how a sound is formed and works. And we call them envelopes. And envelopes can be linked to lots of other different parameters, but usually amplitude is gonna be the main thing we look at. So like I say, think about that plucked string. It's got a very, very quick attack. It happens literally instantaneously, right? The decay from that, it decays very, very quickly. There's not much of a sustain, so the release tails off really quickly. I'll put examples of what that looks like next to me right now. A slightly longer string sound, it will have a much longer ramp up and it will hit sort of a, a top amplitude and it will decay quite slowly into its sustain. And the sustain could be quite a long period. And it might only be a little bit lower than the full attack volume, the full uh, amplitude that it reaches. And the release, that might take a really long time to fade away. If you think my voice right now has a very short release, you can hear a bit of the room that I'm in and that gives it a bit of a release and reverb. But something like a string, you can very slowly stop playing it. And that is how release works. So in the next video, we'll have a look at some examples and how we can use envelopes to shape our sounds. And we'll make use of that ADSR.